Dr. Freelander, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for allowing me to speak to you today. My name is Lester Castro Freelander. I'm a former New York State horse racing and wagering board veterinarian. I'm also a former United States Department of Agriculture Food Safety Inspection Service and Supervisory Veterinary Medical Officer. I was the USDA Veterinary Trainer of the Year. I came here to speak against the slaughter of horses. New York State should not be a pipeline for horses to be slaughtered in Canada. I'm basing my professional opinion as a horse racetrack veterinarian, as a veterinarian for USDA FSIS, a veterinary trainer, and also my knowledge of the United States Humane Methods of Slaughter Act. Cattle can be put in a head restraint, immobilize their head, allowing for the correct placing of the captive bolt in the middle of the forehead, resulting in accurate penetration, the brain, and disrupting the central uh, nervous system impulses to the rest of the body, leaving the animal insensitive to pain. Horses are creatures of flight. They are stronger than cattle, and their necks are anatomically longer, and therefore cannot be put in a head restraint to immobilize their head so they can be actually stunned by the captive bolt. Therefore, they are often conscious during butchering. Furthermore, if the horse is struck more than one time with the captive bolt, it's a violation of the main methods of slaughter act. The use of a 22 caliber or higher pistol is also a challenge in stunning a horse. The plant employee must hit the forehead of the horse at a 90 degree angle to penetrate the skull to be effective. If this is not done, the bullet will ricochet off the skull and could endanger humans who are working near the stunning box. Also, several medications routinely administer equines are carcinogens and detrimental to humans and other animals. Several of these medications administered to horses are labeled not to be used on animals intended for human consumption. The most up-to-date list enumerates that there are 119 different drugs found in racehorses. This is why in the 1970s, the United States Food and Drug Administration made the statement that equines are considered companion animals, like dogs and cats, and should not be considered livestock. After considering the pain and suffering, the main treatment and abuse that equines go through during the transport and slaughter process, and the public health significance of eating horse meat, I believe that horses, when they are no longer wanted or useful, should be humanely euthanized. Also, several years ago, uh, they used to race eight, nine-year-old horses. Now they race younger. I'd also like to mention several years ago, uh, north of Binghamton, New York, on I-81, a tractor-trailer of live horses caught fire. Uh, when the newspaper uh, person interviewed the driver, asked the driver what happened, he said, all of a sudden he looked in his rearview mirror and there was a fire. So he got out. So he said, what did you do with the horses? He said, well, I didn't let them out. He said, why not? He said, because there's a lot of traffic on 81. Well, at 8 o'clock at night, there's practically no traffic there. Uh, then he said, where are you taking the horses? He said, I'm taking it to a rendering plant in Canada. Renderers only take dead animals. He was actually taking those live horses to a slaughter plant in Canada. Respect me yours, Lester Freelander, President Citizens Against Equine Slaughter. Thank you, thank you Dr. Freelander.